Reef Teats is sponsored by Brightwell Aquatics and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're checking out the all new Solartronic from Focustronic. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Teats and I'm pretty stoked because the Solartronic just arrived. Um, if you guys don't know them, Focustronic is the same ones that make the Alcatronic and the Mastertronic and this is their all new Solartronic light. So pretty stoked for it. Um, just showed up yesterday. The box is a little tattered from good old FedEx, but hopefully everything's okay inside. Um, now, no, I did not get this for free, but yes, I did get a sweet discount, so thank you for that. Now, let's get to opening this and checking it out. Oh, this is a big box. And <laughs> that is a big power supply. So, First off, we have our power supply. So it looks like the power supply is only about half the size, but it's in its own enclosure inside of it. We have our hanging kit, the piece we're all waiting for, the actual light itself. Guess okay, so we have the Solar Tronic. So the super cool thing about this is both of the pucks inside swivel, and they both can do 360. So there's dual axes, so each light can go back and forth, left and right. So you can move the light to different areas around your tank, which is pretty cool. Um, now on top of that, we do have the Reef Bright strips. So this is the blue Atenic Reef Bright strips add some extra color pop on top of it. Uh, a bit of a look at the profile. Now, if you guys saw the generation one, they're much more like industrial can light looking where this guy has a much sleeker kind of profile, which I definitely appreciate. Um, so yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, the added reef price strips was cool. We got, I don't quite know the LED mix in there, so we're gonna have to hook it up and try it out. And a bit of a side profile for you guys. Now it definitely does have some weight to it, so you will need a solid mounting option for it. That's probably because we got motors for all the parts inside that move and move our lights around. Uh, now one other really cool feature that is super unique, actually first I've seen it in a light, is it can adjust your light intensity based on your nutrients. So if you have higher nutrients, you know, it could have a little more par. If your nutrients drop, you can drop your light down a bit too. So it's pretty cool how you can adjust stuff on your lighting based on what your test results are. Now that's of course if you have like the Focustronic or the Mastertronic as well. Now I'm really curious to see what we can do with this in the app. So let's get this set up. All right, so we got coffee. Let's plug this baby in and check it out. All right, so first turn it on. The lights kind of reset their position. Um, now let's connect to it. So to start out, we need to connect to its Wi-Fi and then we could add it to the app. To Wi-Fi off, Wi-Fi on, let it find the new networks. And the Wi-Fi signal should just be whatever the serial number is. Um, so S21, so that's what it should start with. Now once we're connected to the Wi-Fi for the light, it's gonna be SSID is your serial number, password, ST password. Um, now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is load up the Focustronic app and it should detect the light and add it. Now this will only work if you're connected to its Wi-Fi. So we'll make sure we start there. And then it should prompt us to give us our Wi-Fi credentials. So I'm gonna give it the password for my network kit. So I gave it my Wi-Fi credentials. Hit save, that should save it to it. So once you give it your Wi-Fi credentials, as long as the password, everything is right, it should connect to your Wi-Fi network on its own. Now, I'm gonna give it a few minutes and see if that happens and if it updates itself in the app. If it doesn't, we might just have to give it a reboot first so it tries to reconnect to the network. Um, oh, there you go, did see it, so that's perfect. Now connected to the internet. Look at that, that actually worked quicker than I expected. So device list. So we'll see if we can move the Solartronic to another tank. We're gonna put on the frag tank. All right, so we go to our tank, we go to the Solartronic at the bottom, and we're gonna edit the profile. So let's create, go to profiles and add. So let's start with the AB plus template because that's always a solid option. Now for now, I'm just gonna save it and let's go through and see if we can have a demo of it and see what it looks like. Demo, okay, so if I click through this, looks right around 9 a.m. 10 a.m. it starts. So we got our blues in the morning. 11 there, noon, more blues. It's around 1 p.m. it adds in all our whites. 
definitely feel the, the light energy coming off this baby. There, 21, so that's what, 9, 10, 11, and wraps down. Okay, so this is a good space to start with. I'm going to play with it and tweak this once I actually have it mounted on the tank, but I think I'm going to start with this as my basis, and then I'm going to tweak it for kind of the, the Reef Dudes variants. Now, the one other cool thing with this is we can play with the angle of the lights. So each of these pucks have an X and a Y axis, and they can go up to 24 degrees of range of motion. So that gives you quite a bit of flexibility to where you want to put the light. Okay, I'm going to turn this intensity down because I am getting blinded at 100%. I'm going to reset all the light angles. Playing with the app, there's about 24 degrees range of motion, which is pretty cool. Now there's a few different scenarios where this could be useful for you. Um, the one theory is that it helps reduce shadowing or hot spots. So if I have my one coral sitting here and it's getting blasted with too much light here, um, if the light shifts away from it, it's not necessarily getting blasted all day. Now you could compensate by just running your lights lower. But if the light's hitting here and then later in the day it's hitting here, later in the day it's hitting there, you could give more intense light to different parts of the coral. So there's a few different ways to look at this. Now, another thought that I kind of had, if you had a larger tank with like bombies and islands, you could actually direct the light to where your acros are, which could be kind of cool. So your fixtures could be spaced out evenly above it and you can target where you want that extra photons hitting in your tank. So that's kind of a cool feature. Um, now there is, so uh, we'll save this one. If you wanted it, looks like the, it's just the lightning cloudy modes. All right, now in the profile section of the app, we can actually say what days we want the profile. So that's kind of funky. I guess if you wanted, you could tweak something different for each day of the week. So we'll just say that's AB plus for each day of the week. Uh, moon cycles, we'll play with that one later. Uh, photo mode, so let's see what this does. So it looks like you can have a photo mode to make it more attractive for taking photos. It's kind of cool. So I'll go for more of the white settings, add a bit of blue pop in. Okay, so you want to take nice photos of your tank, you can make yourself a wider profile and pop that in for photo mode. And photo mode. Hmm, that's kind of cool. So it could be a nice one-click way to make it cell phone friendly if you don't have a filter. Uh, also out of curiosity, huh, they updated the app. That's pretty cool. Okay, so if I want to look at, just out of curiosity, if this links up somehow. Okay, so if I go into my nitrates on here, I can assign intensity change to a Solartronic, which is kind of cool. Um, I know if your tank has high light, it can handle more higher nutrients. You don't really want to be starving your coral without nutrients without light. So. If your nutrients tank, maybe you want to lower your intensity down so it doesn't affect your corals as much. So there's some pretty cool stuff you can do with automatically adjusting your intensity. And you can tell it to go plus or minus a certain percentage. So that's pretty cool. So I'm not going to play with that one yet. Um, but let's just kick off a nitrate test while we're at it. But yeah, that's no, pretty cool. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to install this on the tank. So let me get this installed and we're going to dig in more once I can play with it a bit more. I know there was kind of like moving lights way back in the day where they like moved on a big track over the tank, but I think this is definitely a much sleeker way to do it with it all built in. You can just rotate the angle of the pucks with inside of it. Yeah, so there you have your first look at the Solartronic. Uh, we got the two Reef Bright strips, the XHOs on the outside, so that adds a lot of fill light and pop. We got our two main clusters in the middle. Now when this light is on, it is bright and I can definitely feel a lot of energy from it. Um, I will part test it later once it's actually on the tank and then I can do a proper water test. I am going to hang it on the frag tank for now, and I think I'm going to turn that bottom kind of two foot chamber into like a little mini display and use that to test it out. So I will have to go pick up some eyelets and a few things so I can hang it underneath the tank and get it fully set up. But overall, it kind of gives you a look, got the different profile of it, and yeah, it's definitely a little bit of weight to it, so you will need something fairly sturdy to mount it to. Um, I have plywood under my tank, so I'm hoping I can screw into that and that should do the job. But yeah, very cool, innovative way to approach lighting from Focustronic. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first look. If you do want to check it out, I will leave a link to the website 
in the description below with a little more details. Otherwise, once I have it on the tank and play with it for a bit, I will do a follow-up video and give you guys more information. All right, guys, as always, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button for new, make sure you subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next update.